Yeah, I, I, the buy box is going to be one of the top two or three questions that I would also have in the top two or three questions, kind of like what's your capacity or or financial um, capability, um, because there's just a tendency for folks to say, look, I'm not going to take a chance uh, on somebody that is an unknown entity and figure out that they don't have the capital when it's time to close. Because right. that is that's what uh, will blow a relationship up is is if you bid on assets. So you say, OK, I'm, here's my price and you submit it to an asset manager and then you go through due diligence and then it's time to close. And they say, oh, I need more time. And then you realize, OK, you're not getting the full scoop here. And they're actually trying to go raise the money. And, um, you know, that, that's 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 a very difficult, probably stressful situation for anybody in that that situation yeah. as the buyer and then as the seller it's just you you feel like um you know somebody's been dishonest with you so um i i would i would uh if i was presenting myself to a, a new asset manager i'd be i'd be clear as to like what this what the size what the bite size is that's a term that that's often thrown around am, amongst asset managers is you know i'm looking for this kind of bite size trade um and this is kind of our due diligence process because that would be another question is what what is your due diligence process and as i was referring to earlier all of these nuances between different investors there was a, a very common um sequence some might do two two parts of that sequence at the same time like order evaluation and order title at the same time mm -hmm. but then some people might say well look i need to know that the value is going to come back where it needs to be first and then i'm going to order title okay Sometimes you just know that there's it's not going to be a problem because maybe the maybe the loan balance is clearly very low and it's it's you know like twenty thousand um, <laughs> and it's just and you're just trying to figure out like is the value a hundred or one hundred ten or ninety it's not going to matter right so in that case I might fast track the deal and say look I'm going to order title right now I'm not worried about the valuation coming back wrong but that's mm -hmm. I'm getting into a little bit of of the um, you know, granular aspects of, of due diligence. But as far as the questions for an asset manager, that's going to be one of them is you got to have that nailed down. And, and I would even just give a little bit more information than they're asking for too. Like, like, you know, if they say due diligence process I might say, Oh, well, I'm ordering BPOs or broker price opinions through this company. And then, you know, title, I'm either running that through this company or that company. Mm -hmm. And because that could be the next question. And, and, rather than have them pry it out of you to say, like, you know, they're vetting you to see if you know what you're doing, just give it to them right up front. 